Welcome to Highway Caravan Centre, located approximately 60 kilometres southeast of Melbourne at 1975 Princess Highway, Nanargoon. We're part of the Clow family businesses that have been operating out of this location for over 40 years. Highway Caravan Centre is the number one dealer in southeast Victoria for vacationer and JB caravans and offer comprehensive finance rates and do great deals on trade-ins. Our specialised highly trained technicians in our service and spare parts department offer competitive prices on all caravan servicing, spare parts, minor and major repairs, electrical work and even offer great advice for your next escape. With over 40 new and used caravans in stock, be sure to make Highway Caravan Centre the location for your next caravan adventure because every journey begins on the highway. G'day guys, my name's Andy from Highway Caravan Centre here in Nanagoon. We're located about 60 kilometres southeast of Melbourne here in Victoria. We're going to do a walk around video for you today of the JB Caravan's Dirt Rotor, which is a semi off-road van. So over to the front end, uh, Matt. As you can see, we've got Alucomp uh, front back and sides uh, and we've got uh, extra high checker plate on the front for your stone protection. A couple of gas bottles, mesh on the A-frame which is extended. Uh, our spare wheel is here on the standard setup. Now if you were to increase uh, some specs on the uh, van such as a toolbox on the front we would obviously move that to the rear uh, but this is just a standard setup. We've got a uh, 50 mil the new Alco 50mm ball coupling, uh, your handbrake, we've got a breakaway system. Now in terms of the con uh, connections for your vehicle, uh, you, they come with the standard is a grey Anderson and a red Anderson which is for your Alco electronic stability control uh, and also a um, seven pin round plug as well. Now just quickly looking around the side of the van mat, we've got a tunnel boot right the way through the front, we've got this higher checker plate here. Uh, with our water connections just forward of the, the front wheels. Um, toilet cassette is here and we've got our uh, fridge uh, ventilation here. Now in terms of the semi off-road capability we're going to just bend down here have a look at the underside of the van. Now as you can see we've got uh, the independent Cruise Master CRS suspension which is a uh, superb bit of kit. We've got our two water tanks and we've got a grey water tank uh, which are all uh, protected with um, steel casing there as well. Battery box as well is checker plate protected, that's it, uh, fixed to the A-frame. Coming around the other side, so the other side of our tunnel boot, as you can see we've got our LED lights uh, in the awning uh, that are actually on at the moment, they're just running from the solar power. We've got our external speakers our drop down picnic table, our power out, so if you're connected to tw uh, 240 at a caravan site for example, you can actually use this to power up uh, say a laptop or, or something else or a hairdryer or whatever. Uh, we've got our TV connections here, 12 volt and our antenna. Now just stepping inside of the van. Now for 2019 you've got uh, a different option in the ensuite. So if we can turn right here, Matt, and just have a look what we've got. We've, instead of having the washing machine under the bench here and having a deeper bench, they've tried to create a bit more sort of storage space and a little bit more open feeling to the space in the ensuite. Um, and they've put a, uh, the newer design uh, washing machine, which is on the wall, uh, instead of under the bench. So we've still got our vanity, plenty of space here, but you've got space for toiletries and towels and hand towels and uh, I guess soaps, etc. Uh, with the two cupboards underneath the vanity. So a little bit different. Our shower is pretty much still the same. It's just a fiberglass shower. And that's the ensuite with the sliding door and we've got two towel rails on the door as well. Now moving into the, the, the kitchen. The 2019 fridges look absolutely superb from Dometic. And they're a three-way fridge. As you can see, they're quite a chunky sort of looking fridge. And they, look, they look really sturdy in comparison to um, previous models. And the handle is built into the side of the door here. So whereas those handles used to be able to be loose and you could actually physically break them or the ones that were on the top here, uh, this is a great design for the new Dometic fridge uh, and the freezer there. There's a separate compartment now as well for uh, smaller groceries and vegetables at the bottom there. So really well laid out and quite a large sort of freezer space as well. 
All right, moving on to the kitchen here. Um, kitchen's on the opposite side to the door side. We've got a filter tap in addition to your conventional tap, uh, chrome sink, your standard sort of full size oven, which is an upgrade on last year's dirt rotors, which came with a mini grill and cooktop. Um, so you can see having that extra uh, oven there is a, a bonus in this year's models. And that all comes for free. Plenty of cupboard space uh, below the kitchen there. Your drawers have actually got the cutlery uh, separators built in rather than having those little plastic sort of inserts, which is great. So that's new for that. Automatic door there. <laughs> okay, cafe seating, bifold table. Now notice this table is one of the wider, the wider table. So there's a bit of extra room here uh, in the seating area. Of course, we've got our footrest here. So if we're swinging it round and we get our footrest up there, we can watch our TV and just relax here. So it's really comfortable. Premium leather upholstery uh, in, the, in the seating area. Above my head, we've got our reverse cycle air conditioning. And, and just quickly mentioning the cupboards here. And notice the shelves we've got in there as well. And you can spec those with or without those, uh, without those shelves. So a um, couple of options for you there. LED lighting, as you'd expect. Into the bedroom, we've got the quarter cupboards here as well. We've still got quite a bit of room to be able to walk around the bed. So I'm six foot tall and, you know, plenty of space for us to walk around quite easily. Uh, quarter cupboard here as well. I'll just lift up the bed for the storage. As you can see, there's our 24 inch smart TV. So the smart TVs in the JB vans allow you to download your, uh, your apps for your Netflix and uh, Stan and things like that, which is great for when you're away. In the cubby holes, we've got dual PowerPoint uh, and we've also, uh, we don't have the USBs in this model. That would happen if you went up to the dirt road extreme. Uh, and obviously your cabinets above and below and our LED lighting. TV located here. All your connections are up here. There's your booster, which is on for your signal. Just bring the TV into the bracket here and all your connections here. Aerials there and your smoke alarms on the other side. Internal speaker is here um, and your hatch above the bed for our natural light. There's your block out and you've got your fly screen as well. So that's the dirt rotor, probably the most popular uh, seller so far in the JB range because it's got that semi off-road capability. The 19 foot six is also the most popular range as well, but we've got bigger options. We've got uh, smaller options as well. We can go down to a 17 foot 10. Uh, so plenty of options. Um, come and see us at Highway Caravan Center. Have a look on our website at the full range of JB Caravans uh, and maybe we can get you into a great deal for a new van for this coming holiday period uh, as soon as possible. Thanks for watching.